It's very... Tom? <laughs> Morning everybody, big testing day today and I've gone all pink. So yesterday's question, how often should you take a lesson? It's very player specific, isn't it? So if you're just starting, I like to see people coming weekly. If you're skilled and accomplished, I like people coming at a regular basis. Me personally, kind of once a month, once every three or four weeks, subject to their form with top ups if they need it. And it also depends on if you feel like you might fall out of golf or not. Sometimes lessons are a great way to keep you in golf. It keeps you excited about golf. It keeps you excited about learning. Um, so don't be afraid to use lessons as well to make sure that you're keeping your juices flowing. They can be as fun as going and play for lots of people. So there's no real given answer. This one actually just gives you come on a nice little overview. Today's question, hit up that comment section with down below and thumbs up down there while you're also, and don't be afraid to click, 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 click that subscribe button. Is golf too expensive? Ooh, down there. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Mm. But I didn't get the jumper. It's nice. Pink. I didn't get a jumper, bruh. Tom? What's it? Very good. Huh? Bright, isn't it? So today's swing, decent posture, there's a lot of good athletic movements in here. We're going to look a little bit, slightly different route this time. His path of his club looks like it wants to go a little bit to the left from what I can see from the camera here. But I don't like to see him players, unless they're super skilled and can get away with it, moving, see how he's moving down and forward so much, so towards the target. And then when he comes to hit the ball, it's this kind of big rear back. Moving your pressures this way, so going forward, so very much onto your toes, head literally going forward and then pulling back. For lots of people can change the direction of the club, not everyone. So we're going to think about a few ideas of how moving on the ground might be able to help you control other things in your swing, certainly some uh, club path. Shall we choose a winner, Ola? Yes. Bear with. So I'm going to go into my Instagram. So here are my followers. So Ola's just going to scroll through the followers and pick one at random. So don't touch the blue buttons, just scroll on this side, Ola. Because we don't want to go fat following random people, do we? So again, we should have some music playing as she does it. Found one yet? <laughs> oh, take your time. This is riveting, this bit, isn't it? Click on the face. There we go. She has found Eric Leo. I can't say that name. That name there, look, Eric Leo something. So let's message Eric now. There we go, Eric, Eric's been messaged. All has chosen a winner. There goes a dozen chrome socks. I've got a pink jumper on. <laughs> arrived at Dawlish and we have quite a bit of fog going on. First ideas around the way this player moves. So we see him going this way and then back. Very easy to move your path when you start going back and forth this way and also can have a big variation on strike. Remember that at the same time if that isn't your problem then keep doing what you're doing. So I like to see a player, so if I was to draw a line say on their head here, more staying kind of on that line hit the ball and you need to think about how you're pushing on the ground for that. So basically shaft on the ground, feet on it. I've done this in other videos. You're very much gonna feel your toes riding over this shaft. I want you to feel that you're making a few swings where you're really pushing your pressure, what you feel is your weight moving along this shaft, not out to the toe and then back to the heel too much. Hit a few shots where you feel you're moving, so still turning, but keeping that pressure even on that shaft as you make your backswing and downswing. And I think it'll be interesting to see that what that does to this movement while at the same time what it does to your quality of strike. For lots of students when I do this, they lose a bit of speed because they use the ground in a way to create speed and that kind of forward and backwards motion is how they've interpreted how to get speed into their swing. But what they lose in speed, they pick up through quality of strike. So the efficiency of the shot increases where they lose maybe a few miles an hour of club head speed. And to be honest with you, they can pick that back up when they trust the feeling of this. Oh, nice shot. Going for a bit of lunch now. Hello everyone. Still misty. Interesting testing this morning, Matt, isn't there? Yes, yeah, always very interesting when we test. I almost lost my shin as well. 
What place was that? <laughs> Let's answer your questions. Evening, bro. Evening. Just on the range, trying out the old flattening off the wrist business. Lovely. Working a treat. Lovely. Cool. Eating more Samuel Jaws. Fantastic stuff. The question is, how do I, how do I get that into my game when I come and play on? on the weekend without going back into your default routine. I'm also reading Adam Young as well, talks about your consciousness and subconsciousness and all the rest of it. Perhaps seems great. How do we how do we take it to the actual course itself and, uh, and put it into practice, so to speak? Also, how do I stop saying bruh? I'm even calling my dog bruh. Cheers, bruh. <laughs> no problem, bruh. Big question really is how often are you practicing, isn't it? If you're practicing not that much, you're gonna find it hard to take that to the course with any kind of at any speed, you know, take it there really quickly. It's gonna take a while for it to get through for some people. Is that gonna focus on my face or what? So just making sure that you're picking that club up every day and doing it at home will be really effective compared to just hitting balls. Like I said in other videos, that has massive effects on how people, or how quickly people get into the habit of, of feeling more comfortable that way. The other thing as well, it's a skill of learning. For me and my sports all my life, I've never been afraid to look silly, to try something different and test the results. I think lots of golfers are often a bit scared to test results. To so go and give it a go and see how you go on a course like really exaggerate it you might be awful you might be great you won't know until you test and I think that's a real big skill of learning picking the club uploads at home is the biggest thing and then don't be afraid to get out there and play with it oh, what I do <laughs> oh my god that got a little bit when windy couple of drill ideas if you've got a cap all golfers own caps so you make your back swing your head wants to move forward and then you're pulling back I can stand here address this ball and look at the top of my glasses actually and I see my peak and my cap lining up say with a mark on my fence over there then what I'm gonna do is make a couple of practice swings where I feel like I'm not really revealing the mark above it so basically feeling like my head is staying in one position forward and backwards because obviously the perspective changes to the mark on the fence now as I do that I'm not concentrating on my head feels I'm concentrating more on how that feels in the ground so where I feel I'm pushing and not pushing to deliver that club while still trying to turn this is a great way to give some people some awareness of what's going on with their feet as they're swinging that's loud for the birds in it next idea you can do indoors I'm going to use the door frame put my head on the door frame I'm holding the camera as I do this as well and make some swings feeling like I'm not pushing that cap down against the door frame feeling like I'm staying more constant with my distance this way and this way again trying to make normal turns like I'm hitting a shot and also feeling how that feels different in the ground you need to translate this onto your practice see if it improves your strikes if it improves your direction it might not like I said earlier you might be under control of all those aspects but if you're not like most golfers this drill this idea can really help you feel how you want to push into the ground to try and line up the sweet spot which is dynamically moving around your body in line with that stationary sweet spot of the ball and hopefully improve those strikes thanks for watching everyone have a great weekend say goodbye my name Remember to hit that uh, comment section up down there. Thumbs up the video. And hit what button? Subscribe button. Correct button to hit. FIFA time. Yeah. Let's play. Oh, he was, oh yeah. Cross it comes. Oh, the streams. <laughs> Come on, internet.